So what's the best way to get into Spotify's user-generated editorial or AI playlists? In this video, I'm going to clarify what the three types are. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to get into them and share with you exactly how playlists work. Let's jump in. Hey, it's Graham Farmer from Data Transmission and on our YouTube channel, we give you tips, advice, interviews on how to get further in the music industry. If you're new to this channel, we have two videos a week. On Tuesdays, we have a big question series. It's very simple, a one question series where we ask artists, industry heads, one question to get you their knowledge. And our second video of the week is a tips video. This week, we're looking at Spotify. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit the bell, give us a like, that really helps, uh, and share this content with your friends, especially those that are looking to build themselves on Spotify as DJs and artists. Last time we went through how to build your brand on Spotify as a DJ and artist. Today we're going to look at playlists and the algorithm, so stick around for some bonus tips at the end. The first type of playlist is a user-generated playlist. You can have one, I can have one, we have them at Data Transmission. These are the basic level entry playlists. You just log in with a Spotify.com, create yourself a user account, and start creating playlists. Check out, our, check out our playlists at Data Transmission. We have them for house music, techno, drum and bass, progressive house, and we update them regularly. I'll drink the rock the cart link in the card below. You should definitely be making your own one, and you should definitely be updating it regularly, once a week, with new, new music, and share that to your social media as we spoke about last week. The second type of playlist is the algorithmic or AI playlist. These are generated by the Spotify app system itself, and they're generated just for you, specific for you on what you're listening. Spotify looks at what you're listening to and creates these playlists for you. Things like Release Radar, Daily Mix, Discover Weekly. So they're really specific just for you. For instance, the release radar is generated where from the artists that you are following. So the more artists you're following, the more tracks you're going to find from those artists. F flip that as an artist, the more followers you've got as an artist on your artist page, the more free exposure you can get through release radar. The final one is the editorial players. These are created by people inside Spotify. They're curated. You can pitch to be in them and the things like dance hits, houseworks, dance rising, they're really big plays and getting in these can really generate you hundreds, thousands if not hundreds of thousands and millions of plays. They really can jump up your career and also create a massive revenue for you. How does Spotify playlist system work and the algorithm work? So you put your music out there and people start listening to it. If people start saving it and playing it again, and not skipping it and putting it in their own playlist, then you get some more free reach from Spotify. The more you do that, the more free reach you get and the more they turn on the tap and the more exposure you get. It works similar to the Instagram algorithm. As with Instagram, you put it out there, you kind of get put, shoved to a little, get, you get a little bit of free exposure through say you release Radar, through, uh, through the user generated playlists. And the more little plays you can get, the more, the more, and the more you get into different playlists, the more you'll get picked up by Spotify, the more you'll get picked up by the AI first of all, and then by the editorial team. Firstly, you need to get some traction on your track. Traction before you've even released it, traction built up before, before it goes on Spotify. So you wanna reach out to blogs, you wanna reach out to friends, you wanna reach out to, maybe you get premiers on the track, maybe you get some free exposure on the track. The more people you can get building up exposure, maybe you get DJs playing the track and you get some Instagram videos. The more exposure you can get, the more the, the better you are. On release day, the more people writing about you and maybe using your embed code on their blog, on their website, on their uh, sharing it on their social media, the, that's all gonna help you get plays and plays quickly on the first day. Then on release day, you wanna go on to places like Hyped It and Submit Hub and submit it to a load more blogs. Um, once you've got those links, and you can start submitting. Submit Hub's a really good system, and so is Hyped It. You submit it to a load of blogs, they'll give you an inst they'll give you responses. You only pay a small amount per, per submission, and they might include it in their playlists. These are all building plays and building exposure for the tracks. You may think you're only getting maybe 20, 25 with each one, or it's 10 or 25 with each, with each, with each playlist inclusion, but Spotify looks at things like playlist inclusions. The more playlists you're on, 
the more ex the more free reach they're going to give you, the more you might hit into Discover Weekly, the more you might get into a daily mix. These all help your track. Also, pre-release, go into your Spotify or for artist and you can submit the tracks to, your, to the editorial team. The label might do this as well for you if you're releasing via a label. If you're just releasing independently, you need to do this yourself. Go into Spotify for Artists, it'll give you some options, you fill in all the spaces. In the last space, you want to try and give as much detail about what exposure and what coverage you've got for your track already. As I said, the label might do this, and if you're an artist releasing a label, you might want to let the label do this because they're going to know all of the coverage they've got, all of the DJs that are supporting you, and all of the things that are basically bigging your track up to Spotify and their editorial team. If you're releasing on your own and you're releasing solo, just put as much detail as possible. I got coverage from these websites, I got coverage in these playlists, I got covered, I got a premiere with this, this website, I got these DJs playing the track beforehand. These all basically are selling tips to Spotify's editorial for them to say, oh yes, we should be including you in our playlist because you've got loads of traction on your track. Here's one of those bonuses I mentioned about earlier. So the first of two. We use, uh, we use Hyped It and we use free downloads on Hyped It to build followers on our artist pages. So we put out a free, we put out a free download before the actual release, something that's maybe got a big sample we can't clear and we make the people, use, we're using Hyped It, you allow, it basically allows you to get stuff for your free download. And in this instance, we're looking for artist page follows and the more of them we can get, by, by pushing that by pushing that free download, the more people are following your artist page and the more then on release day of your of your actual release, you there you're gonna hit your release is gonna hit all those people's release radars as I mentioned earlier, which gives you more free exposure on release day. Also if you're releasing a label, always check with them because they might have a PR team that might be doing extra exposure for your track, extra work for the label. They might have a Spotify submission pool uh, which they send the track out to a lot of their playlists that they work with. I know from a data transmission point of view, we're in a few of those, so your track will be sent to us via them, and we can, I'll, I'll go through on a Friday, oh, I like that one, I like that one, I like that one, and I include them in my playlists. Also, if you're signed to some, if you're signed, depending on what label you're signed to, you may flip this on its head completely, and you, they might have some really good connections with the really big editorial teams and the really big playlists, so you all this happens backwards. So you start off by going into the big playlists, which then gives you exposure for across the board, and then loads of people start hearing your music, and then you go into the smaller user-generated ones because they're hearing you on a bigger playlist, which then gives you more exposure and more plays, and basically then the AI picks you up, and you go into all the Discover Weeklies, um, which, then, which then obviously makes your track massive. <laughs> Finally, the, the other bonus tip is about email. Email is such a big thing now uh, for promoting yourself and having a database of yourself that you own. Remember, things like Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, these are all rented spaces and if any of them close down, then you you have nothing. So make sure, you're, you, you know, you make sure you use your social media to ask for people's emails, if you're, if you're doing free downloads from Hyptic, grab their email, and then on release day, you send your track out via email to all, the, all these people that have previously mentioned that they like your music. These are then that draw, draw people back to Spotify to get some more, like for that first traction on your, on your track. Of course, all of this is completely irrelevant if you've got absolutely rubbish music. So, before you do any of this, Spend the time, learn your craft, make decent music, and get it. And essentially, the best thing to do is get it signed to labels. They've got more exposure for you. They'll help you build yourself as artists and build your track, build your build a presence for your track, and a following for your track. If you're going it alone, again, just make sure the music's the best thing. To recap, get the music right. Make sure it's banging. None of this will be possible without it. Second, get loads of traction. Traction, 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 traction on these tracks. Pre, mid, during release, and just keep doing it as much as possible. Use all of the tools available to get to build your track and to build your track on Spotify. And then finally, 
if you get in those playlists, well done. You're going to get 10 crap loads of pl plays and big streams. And that will help you for your following release and your following release and your following release. I hope this has helped you today. I hope it's been beneficial. If it has, like I said earlier, please give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and I'll see you again next week for more Spotify tips. I've been Graham Farmer. I'll see you soon. Bye.